Right, let's take a look at Opef Coil today. And this was played on an acoustic guitar on the record. I'm gonna play it on my classical guitar. It's the same when it comes to fingers and picking. And uh, we're gonna open with this intro riff. In the first time, you're gonna have this arpeggiated line. Okay, so that should be straightforward, right? You have to go down and up, <laughs> and one string at a time, starting on the A string. Right? And then in the second line, we're gonna move this major chord shape, so it's like well, it looks like this, right? You have 7, 6, 5, starting on the D string. And that's an A major chord right here. And just gonna move it down here to the G with an A in the bass. Right? And you're also gonna put an E on top. So, I mean, what kind of chord it is? Well, you can uh, <laughs> try to figure it out by yourself. And then uh, he's gonna move the shape down another two frets here to the F shape, okay? F major 7 shape. Okay, so, and the rhythm here is a, a bit of tricky, but it goes like this. Right, so that's the first move, and then the second move is the same, but you're gonna go from here to here, right? Right? And then in the final part, um, don't worry too much about the taps because it's a kind of half... Uh, I mean, if you don't get all the strings correctly here, um, don't worry too much about it. Uh, but basically it's gonna be... This, okay? So, two strikes on this F chord with an A in the bass. And then he's doing some kind of like open strings with the hammer on, on to the A minor chord right there, right? So... And this is ending on the A minor chord right here. Okay, and when I play this whole second line here, uh, you might have noticed I like to put my thumb here across the neck fretboard and mute the E string just in case I manage to strike it uh, by mistake <laughs> then it's gonna be a bit dumb anyway um, okay so that's the intro right and uh, you're gonna play uh, this intro twice and now the second time you play it when you strike the final A minor chord or at the very end of the second line so right when he strikes that chord the second guitar will commence and the begin is the riff and we have it on the next slide right here All right and uh, so so the first guitar strike is a minor chord and right with the arrow points you're gonna come in with the, the finger style guitar So it basically explains this uh, riff repeatedly all the time, and um, if you if you're not familiar with finger style, um, so what you're doing here, you're gonna strike the A string with your thumb, and, uh, and now this is like a very crash course. <laughs> but if you haven't played finger style before, you might find it kind of weird at first. But it's kind of a natural movement for your right hand fingers anyway. So strike the A string with your thumb and then strike the G string here sorry, 9th fret with your, uh, well either with your middle finger or ring finger I prefer my ring finger actually for this finger uh, and then you're gonna strike the 7th fret on D with your uh, index finger, okay? so
right? Any closer like that. So uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, this, I mean, this figure is gonna be occurring many, many times throughout this rather short song. So you know, make sure to make it to get it right. <laughs> Uh, all right, so after this section, all right, we're gonna get to the kind of a similar figure that we have here on this side. Um, but here is gonna alternate it a bit with this. Okay, uh, so and before we get here, so it's gonna end on this riff from the previous slide, right? Sorry. So you're gonna do this now. So as you end this last figure on the previous slide, you're gonna go in here. And then you're back to this other old figure again, right? So uh, yeah, and uh, this figure in the first line. Goes like this, right? So kind of similar uh, thinking here, uh, different notes obviously, but for your right hand it's almost the same. So right when you strike the notes in the second half of the first bar, free on A and onwards. You can play like this, so again A string with your thumb and then D and C with your index and middle finger or index and ring finger, whichever you prefer. And the final two notes in the first bar, free to open E, play them both with your thumb, okay? Right. And then quickly go and repeat the old riff again. Yeah, and that riff in the second bar is gonna be played three times. Okay, and second line, the same thing again, but you're only gonna repeat the second riff twice, okay, instead of three times. Okay, and on the next slide, we're gonna have the nice chorus, uh, and it goes like this. a bit slower then so again finger style that means basically playing the bass strings with your thumb and playing the treble strings with your other fingers of your right hand uh, most of the time sometimes you have to find some other solutions to play something more complex uh, where you use you can use actually both well any finger basically on any string but uh, the most, like, the easiest way to play, obviously, is to play with your thumb on the bass strings. Uh, okay, so if I play it slowly, you can just watch my right hand fingers. So here we have the a bit more complicated part in the second line, the most complicated part of the song. So the first beat, not too complicated, right? So I play like this, um, middle finger on the D string and ring finger on the G string. And that's the first beat in the second line. And then in the second beat, we're gonna have we're gonna have this, okay? So basically, put your first finger on sixth fret and then hammer on to seventh fret with your uh, uh, ring finger, okay? So don't use your second finger here, so because then you're gonna have to fret the seventh fret on D string with your first finger and it's gonna be a bit of a stretch if you go, you're gonna have your second finger here. Okay, so like this. And you can see my finger annotations below the notes by the way, so. 
Okay, and then in the third beat we have this. So second finger on A on B and first finger on seventh on D. Stretch the B string with your ring finger on your right hand. And then the D string, I don't know, sometimes I strike it with my thumb, sometimes with my index finger, well. Um, but let's say you strike it with your thumb, maybe that's better. <laughs> and then uh, you're gonna slide from the 8th fret on B up to the 10th fret quickly, right? So, so it's a kind of a quick slide and then finish on the 9th on G. Like here, so okay, and then you're gonna go back to 8th fret on B and play this, so that's quite straightforward. So, quick come on, pull off 7 8 7 and then 9 7 on G, right? first bar in the second line and then the final bar okay so what we have here is the quick slide uh, so 7 on D and 6 on G slide up to 9 and 7 okay and also strike the A string at the same time so like this right so that's the first move and then he's gonna go up, move up the shape two frets higher up. So, and uh, also you're gonna move the shape up, but strike those two strings before you move that. So you're gonna have like a slide, quick slide upwards. So like this. Okay. So like this. In the second beat, you're gonna have okay. So that part is more well, and more simple. So all together, this whole uh, bar. There we go. Yep. So that's the maybe the most tricky part of the song, and uh, so right after this. You're gonna continue the chorus here on this slide, and the first two bars we already played. Uh, okay, and uh, right after this, you're just gonna go back to this old riff again. four times right and uh, after that basically you're gonna repeat the whole uh, well, not the whole song but you're gonna repeat from the slide number three from the from the sign <laughs> from the what well, slide number three and all the way up to here again and uh, basically right after this final old riff you're gonna end like this right with this final final bar Alright, and that's Opeth Coil, have fun with that.